Casey Sims, and we are back with more Nameless. And we had a very touching conversation with Lance in the last part. It's very sad because he feels very sad about his life. Poor thing. Um, so we're going to continue. He collapsed in the rain, and now we're back home, and we're going to see what happens. And we should poss possibly be getting to the uh, point here where we're going to the choice could lead us down a bad path. So that's what I'm going to, I'm going to save. And then we're going to do the bad ending because there's only, I think we do one thing and then we, and then we get the bad ending. So we don't have to worry like the other one where you play through the whole game. So anyway, 38.5 degrees, pretty high. I know. Lance. I couldn't carry Lance by myself. So I called Yuri. Thankfully, Yuri was still at the academy, and he soon came to us with Yinho and Red. We were able to carry Lance back home, but the problem was his high fever. Master, will Lance be okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. The guy should be strong enough to withstand the rain. He obviously needs more training. We gave him medicine, so let's just watch how he is. Okay, I have to go now. Where are you going? I have to go back to the academy. I was in the middle of something when I got your call and ran out. I have to go back and finish off some stuff. Well, like a teacher? You're going to finish her off? Well, mm. I should at least finish what I'm paid to do. And besides, I am a teacher. You're right. Thanks for coming. I'll make sure he repays me for this. So why don't you take a break, too? I'm fine. Thanks for worrying, though. Yuri winked at me and then left the room in a hurry. That's like the nicest Yuri has ever been without being skeevy. He's like, don't worry, take a break, too. Winks and leaves. And you're like, that's the least skeevy he's ever been. I still love him, though. And then I'll be out, too. I want to be here with you, but I ran out without telling the club president. He'll probably be going crazy right now. I'll be back around the time T's done with work. You sure you'll be fine without me? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, and about the heroine. You can tell me tomorrow. Just think it through today. Red looked at me with serious eyes. Red left the room, too. Master, I'll go get some hot tea. Do you want some citron tea? You can't get sick, too. Oh, thanks, you know. I was thankful for his kindness. After Yinho left the room, it was just me and Lance. <sighs> there were so many things to think about. <sighs> if I think about what Lance said, did he always feel so anxious? Whatever Lance did, he was definitely different from Red, who had such a strong personality. It never occurred to him that what I showed Lance would be everything. It never occurred to me that what I showed Lance would be everything to him. If I had known that, I... Would have asked you him to try other things, too. Maybe that was why he likes the lemon tea. I remember he followed me and gave me a cup of lemon tea when I lost my phone. That was the only way for Lance to express himself. For the simple reason that I chose and bought something for Lance, that becomes what he likes. The clothes that I chose for him at the department store and the tea I bought for him. I didn't know that you felt so anxious. I really didn't know. You should just hold his hand right now. I felt so bad that I wanted to cry. I... Oh, good! I held his hand and buried my face on the sheets. I'm here. Oh, T. Red called me and told me everything. Are you both okay? Lance has a fever, but Master is fine. They're both in Lance's room. Both of them together. All right. It's me. Coming in. Oh. I think Master is asleep. They were holding hands, right? I'll just go in and cover them with a blanket. Oh, I can do... No, it's fine. I'm holding his hand while I say... But I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, I know that I guess maybe in this society, like, in Korean society, that's like, oh my god, it's a thing. But, like, if your friend is sick or, like, someone that you care about and they're sick and passed out, like, yeah, okay, normally, oh, okay, you have a fever, okay, are you okay, cool. But someone that you're worried about, let's say it's a family, even your friend really sick and you're worried, you would be, I'm going to hold their hand and make sure that they know I'm here with them. Like, I don't know. Anyway, making her worry like that. <sighs> Just be more careful. I gave up on her so you can make her happy. I gave up on her so you could make her happy. Huh. Interesting. What in the world does that mean? So what do you plan to do? Are you sure you can be here all alone? Yeah, don't worry about me. It'll be dangerous for you to live here by yourself. 
I'm fine. Since I'm not alone. Huh? What did you say? It's nothing. Mom, really, you don't have to worry about me. Grandpa's not here, but I'm fine. Since I have Lance to protect me. Right? Lance. I feel something warm touch my hair. Soft hands. This was like Grandpa's hands. Am I dreaming? Huh? Oh, he's stroking her hair. I woke up. I felt warm hands stroke my hair. I've worried you. Lance? Oh! <laughs> Look, and he's so sweet in his little all white with his little suspenders. Oh! It was Lance's hand. It was definitely Lance's hand stroking my hair. His hands were so soft, I just stayed still. Did you fall asleep like this? I'm embarrassed. I'll get up now. Oh, wait, hold on. How do I... I don't know how to hide the thing. Is there, like, a... Oh, look, I can open my phone. Oh, cool, I didn't know I could do that. Um, what's status? I don't understand why that's... What's the status? Interesting. Anyway, I know I can't figure out how to, like, hide the thing. I forget. I swear I did it accidentally, but maybe not in this one. But his voice was unlike his usual one. Oh, yeah, I fell asleep while caring for him. <sighs> he started breathing heavily. Lance? I didn't... He muttered. I didn't mean to worry you. What do I do? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on. Save! This is the save point. We're gonna save here. Okay, so... Say before choice. Okay, so if we say you're fine, that continues on the good path. So we want to get the bad ending. So this is going to be terrible. We're supposed to stand up and look at... Like, oh my god, are you kidding? Standing up! I'm just going to stand up and look at him. Is the bad ending. There is no clear... Like, because you're like, oh, I'm just going to stand up and look at him. Bad ending. Say you're fine, good at... Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to get the bad ending, guys. I let him go and stood up to look at him. Will you abandon me someday? Lance's face turned sad. His constantly changing face was like the sky before it rains. Lance? It might be better if you're with Red. You'll forget me soon if you're with Red. I might not be that important to you. Even you. What are you talking about, Lance? I'm such a common type, so I'm not that important. So I'll be abandoned one day, right? Right? Lance, that's such... Are you going to abandon me? Answer me. Lance, what are you talking about? I would never... Don't you know me? Answer me. If you're going to abandon me, just get rid of me now. Lance, what are you... Lance forcefully grabbed my hand. Ah! And put my hand on his chest. Just destroy it. With your hand. L Lance, it hurts. Let me go, please. You're being strange. He ignored me and held onto my wrist tighter. If you're going to abandon me, then just take my soul with you so I don't feel anything. Everything my maker gave me, it's all for you. Without you, I... Ah! Oh, I can't take this anymore. Lance is out of his mind right now. I want him to calm down, but I don't have any choice. I screamed. Help! So somebody! I heard someone running. The door slammed open. What's going on? Lance? Uh, Lance is weird. T... T stormed in and grabbed Lance's shoulder and threw him to the ground. Eek! Shriek! Uh... What... What's this? What's happening? What's going on? Yinho and Red came running along. This is getting trippy, like the way the things are. Yinho, take her to her room. All right, Master. Can, can you get up? Yeah, I'm fine, but Lance... Lance was breathing heavily. Lance's eyes looked crazed. 
He is really sick. This is disturbing. The music in the background, everything about this is really freaking me out. Leave Lance to me. I'll take care of him, so don't worry. Oh. T's gonna take care of him. He'll be fine. Like Red said, if it's T's... If it's T, things will be fine. I nodded. I'll let you use the room by yourself since you're sick. But messing with the heroin, I won't forgive you for this. Lance is just really sick. Go and rest. Don't worry about this. I told T thanks. Yinho dragged me out of the room. But even when Yinho held me to the bed, I couldn't fall asleep. I was so worried about Lance. It was morning when I woke up. Oh, right. I immediately remembered last night and got up. I headed to the living room, still worrying. Everyone, good morning. I told the four boys in the living room. I couldn't see Lance. Master. Everyone looked worried. Are they still thinking about yesterday? Oh, God, Lance is dead, isn't he? Don't be so surprised at what I'm about to tell you. What? What happened? Lance. Damn. Honey, don't be so shocked. What happened to Lance? Like, what happened? My heart started pounding at everyone's response. Did something happen to Lance? W wait I ignored T and ran into Lance's room. Lance, are you safe? Uh, Lance was lying on the bed like a doll. Lance? Is he sick? I approached Lance. Huh? But something was weird. He didn't look like his usual self the way he lied down. Lance? I didn't feel warmth. Oh my god, he turned back into a doll. It wasn't just the warmth. I didn't see him breathe. Lance? Lance! I violently shook him as if I was possessed by something. Uh, it was like shaking a doll. No, not that. He's not a doll, is he? Red found him like that this morning. We woke up and found something like feathers in his body. I thought I was seeing things, but after that, he just stayed like that. Remember she had a dream about feathers? Something about the feathers, right? You must be so surprised, but we'll find a way. L Lance? Lance. Lance, wake up! Lance! 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 Let's say his name a million times. Stop. That won't do anything. Let me go! Lance, wake up! Wake up! I held onto his stiff body and shook him. This can't be... Lance. Lance will never look at me while blinking his eyes. He'll never talk to me. This is a dream. Will everyone turn back into dolls like this? I looked at the four boys and instantly felt a deluge of anxiety. No. I don't want to lose them. They're now alive and breathing. If they all turn back into dolls, I felt all my memories would turn into hurt. Would I be able to would I be able to stand that? I wasn't confident. Lance, please come back. What troubled you so much? It's really my fault, isn't it? It's my fault, right? I held onto his body and blamed myself. It was literally one fucking choice. Guys. He lost his feathers. Will that be fine? The game has failed. Turn back time. It's what you do. You talk as if that's so easy. There will be a huge cost for that. Do you have what it costs? How about the memories of that person who's looking at me? What do you mean, that person? There's a person who's been watching since this started. From outside, he's been watching us all. Hey, hey, hey! I go by she, bitches! The person watching us through the screen. That went peering inside the person's brain with that weird machine. This is creepy! This getting Doki Doki Literate Trickle Club up in here. You're breaking the fourth wall! Yes, you. It's you. Shh! Are you surprised? Now give me your memory. I have to continue this game. Ha ha ha! That's a funny thought, just like you. But the person outside the screen is beyond my control. Of course that person might become my future client. Ha ha! Now what will you do? Will you continue the game? That's creepy as fuck! I like it. I like the creepy fucking... <laughs> that was basically like, how fucking dare you? Um... That bad ending was titled Broken Heart. And there's a reason for that, because Lance just died of a broken heart. But it's amazing, because it's one... Okay, so for Bad Ending 2, is the one that you basically have to go through the whole game choosing all the wrong things, right? 
but you're playing the whole game. This is like, you're like, oh, just stand up and look at him or say, I'm fine. Wait, okay, so I, I get up. Like, oh, okay, I'm just going to get up. And then he flips the fuck out. It's not like we had to make other bad choices. It's one choice. It's not like being like, oh, whatever. I'm going to hang out with Rhett. We're... Dude, this is one of those games where like the choices are like kind of convolute. Like stand up and look at him. Turns to, I he died of a broken heart. <laughs> what? What? Or me, like the random in the beginning. If you don't use the guide and you just do random choices. Like, oh, I'm going to follow you. know, if I didn't stop. It was one choice, actually, because I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go back to the common route, right? I went to school with Lance. I didn't neglect Yinho. That's what it is. I went to the corner to eat there. I said I couldn't take the phone from Yuri. And I saved Lance. I got him the candied lemon tea. I said to suggest the government. I followed the cat and I didn't stop to catch my breath. There were two choices. Two choices in the common route, right? That I, like, I defended Yinho, and then I f kept following Yinho. Two choices, and that led to a bad ending. That's kind of fucked up. Like, you have to do this exact. Otherwise, you're going to get bad endings, and you're never going to get on anybody's path. Which I just, I just kind of find that a little, mm, a little fucked up in a way. Because usually, like, that, okay... I could see if, like, okay, I made a Lance choice, and I made, and I it was completely like you you've we've given you five choices, and you picked five different guys, and we have no idea what the fuck to do with you, whatever. But all of the choices were for Lance except for two, two out of like the what six seven choices that we had, and it was like nope, bad ending. Weird. So it's not doing a lot of the calculations that games normally do. If you choose this, you know that's a point for Lance. If you choose this, it's a point for. Yin Ho, if you do this, you know what I mean? Where, like, at the end it goes, okay, you have five points for this person, two for this one person. Okay, you're on this person's path because you had five, five points with them. So it's a little fucking weird. Like, I feel like you have to use a guide for this, like, um, which, I mean, is what we're doing because we kind of went through the game and played and we got nothing. <laughs> I found an ending that nobody knew about. I'm wondering how many other bad endings there are. Um, but anyway, actually, let's do... Let's go into album for a second. Do we have any pictures of us? Oh, look! So we have these. Oh, you can't go to the next. That's like all the guys. Oh. So we're missing two, right? Oh, no, there's eight. So we've gotten half of them. Uh, is there a way to, like, go to the next without going back? I guess not. <laughs> I like how they don't count, like, so. Aww. There we go. That's the one. Aww. And we obviously... Oh, we do, because we have this one. Oh, that's right, because that was our choice that led down a Yinho path. We have none for your... These guys you're not going to get anything for. Um. Oh, that's what we already did, right? Oh. 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 <gasps> Wait a minute. So what are the other four? Because two of them are... We only have one bad ending, right? So wait a minute. Memories that you cherish. Okay, so... Oh, because we didn't finish the Are You Replaceable chapter. Lance is no. Grandpa and Lance. Ice Princess is the good. True Friends. Christmas with Lance. What is that? Hmm. And then we'll get another bad ending. But then what are these? I feel like those are bad endings. What are we missing here? Prologue, new routine, huh. Whoa, this is interesting. First day, common path. We didn't get the first day, common path? Maybe, that's really weird. Um, And let's say Yinho has three bad endings, right? So, but he's got four too. He's got a lot. Oh dear God. Oh dear God, what is going on with these guys? Interesting. Wow. Okay. What's the bonus? Anything? I guess you have to finish their path. So what's this? Is this like a character that we don't, we haven't met yet? Or is that ours? That would be us, right? Because this is Soy and Shinbi. That's Mr. 
Eugene, these are the two guys, and these are all our boys. So maybe this is supposed to be us. Maybe you get it at the end. I don't know. Anyway, I just want to do So we're going to continue uh, here where we left off, and we're going to continue going down the good path. Um, uh, let's see something. Hold on a second. Uh, I scrolled too far down. We could actually... So let's see. Um, one, two. I'm trying. I'm just trying to see where we are. Where we could. Uh, pretend I didn't hear. Final exam. Okay, so that's in the two chapters from now. Want to be fine? Nothing will happen. Okay, so I'm just trying to think if we should continue doing this or if we should go backtrack up, skip through, and do the next bad ending. But here's the thing. There are two more chapters that we'd have to read through. So what I can do is when we get to the last choice in the last chapter, um, so right now we're still in the Are You Replaceable chapter. We'll finish that one. Then there's three more chapters, and then there's like a... Thing. But, um, so, and I'm not sure if that's the good ending, but I feel like true friends better be my boyfriend after this got shit. But maybe in the last chapter, the, where before that last choice, maybe we'll save there and then we'll go back, play th quick play through the whole game, choosing all the wrong things to get the bad ending. Um, this way we don't ruin the good ending, but we also don't have to all the stuff that we're playing through, we're not choosing the bad things. You know, we'll do that on its own, but we'll get all the way through. And then right before we would get to the good ending, we'll be like, let's go play the bad ending, then come back. Um, I, I think that's a good way to do it. Cause I just, I hate marring the good endings. Like I would hate to play the good ending and then mar it with that. Cause that would like that one, that's sad. And I just have a feeling the other one's going to be worse because you're literally fucking it up the whole way through the game. This was one choice. Anyway, so, say I'm fine. I'm fine. I was just thankful that I got to know how he truly felt. If I knew he felt that anxious, I would have cared more. If anything worries you, please just tell me. I can listen to whatever you have to say. I closed my eyes and said, What worries me? Lance stopped stroking my hair. I've already told you, so you know now. There's something I want to ask. Go ahead. Will you... Will you never leave me? Oh, You idiot. I didn't reply and instead tease him. Idiot. I even felt a bit upset. I've never thought of leaving Lance. But I felt upset that he thought I would. He's the doll I've spent the most time with. Do I look like I'd do something like that? Why were you suddenly so nervous? Getting caught in the rain like an idiot? Come to think of it, Lance was a bit weird since yesterday. Now that I think back, I can kind of guess why. Is it because of Red? He told me he compared himself to Red and envied him. He'll stand out anywhere, even outside of school. He's unique in this world. And he has a, and he has a distinct personality. Well, you're all unique in this world because you're dolls that came to life, so I mean... You, you're not like that because Red asked me to be in the play with him, are you? Lamp seemed a bit overworked even then. He didn't even reply to my texts. Is that really it? That's my only guess. Maybe Lance always felt anxious and that just triggered him more. Oh. Would you know what it feels to be left behind? To be left behind? When you and Red are surrounded by people getting attention. I didn't like just watching you. I'm doing something anyone can do, like Red said. Lance, you... Aww. I turned my head, hearing him tear up a bit. I really do like that they gave her, like, a cute little short haircut, because it's totally different than normal, like, game heroines. They always have, like, long, luscious locks. And I just like that she's got this cute little, slightly shaggy pixie kind of thing. Well, I mean, it's not really a pixie cut, but it's like, you know, little bob. A little cute little pixie bob mix thing going on here. And he is so fucking pretty. 
Like, we have this cute little Bob haircut, and he's got this long, glorious hair. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I turned my head, hearing him tear up a bit. Tear up a bit. Lance was facing the ground. Is Lance crying? I was scared, since anything can replace me. Like that doll. I've spent the most time with you, but I'm nervous. I know that you'll never abandon me, but I'm still nervous. I don't know since when, but every time I look at you, I want you so much, but I still feel so anxious. Oh. What happens when I'm abandoned like that someday? I've already felt your warm touch. What do I do when you no longer need me? I'm scared. I'm sorry. I'm the most stupid and weak one. I'm more stupid than Red. Oh, no one could be more dumb than Red. I mean, he literally has nothing in his head. I touched his slouched back and carefully embraced him. I won't leave you. He doesn't say anything, but it doesn't matter. The person I was holding on to was warm, unlike when he was in the rain. And that warmth spread to me. So, I hope he realizes how sincere I am through my arms holding him. I need a CG of this, not a white screen! I would never leave him. So, don't feel nervous. Okay. A small voice rang in my ear after a long time. Bright sunlight filled this room. Strange. My room never gets bright like this. I opened my eyes. Huh. It's Grandpa's room. It's Grandpa's room. I rarely came into this room after Grandpa died. But the reason I'm here is because Lance was sick yesterday. I look around. I see traces of Red and Lance here and there. Compared to Red's messy side, Lance's things were organized, neat. And looking around more, I found Grandpa's favorite mother-of-pearl closet and Grandpa's favorite orchid. That closet is completely empty now. When Grandpa died, we burned all the clothes in it. Why would you burn all the clothes and not give them away? Grandpa used to stand in front of that orchid and water it. Seriously, it's like a waste of good old people clothes. I'm sure there's somebody out there that needs old people clothes. Give them to like an old people shelter or something. Like, that's what you do. Like you, you know, I mean, <laughs> is that like a thing in culture, certain cultures where you're like, someone died, we need to burn all their shit. Just think of all the toxins in the air and fabric. I just, no, you donate them. <laughs> Grandpa. I feel like I can see what Grandpa saw every morning. Grandpa. Whenever I'm in this room, I feel like I'll see him again. Ah. Uh, I shook my head violently to get rid of the tears from thinking of Grandpa. Then I suddenly recall the present owner of this room. Right, Lance. I looked around and Lance wasn't here. I remember falling asleep here with him. Then I heard a knock. I didn't answer, but the door opened. Oh, Lance. Lance opened the door and came in. You're awake. Thank God. He looked better now. And you're not dead! So happy. How do you feel? I feel fine. Sorry for last night. He looked healthy as he talked. I'm glad he's better. But I couldn't help but ask about last night. I carefully brought out the subject. Do you remember last night? Slightly. Slightly. You mean you remember parts of it? I guess. Then, could you tell me exactly which parts you remember and which parts you don't? I was still bothered by yesterday and had to ask him about everything. Smirk. Oh, I love that. You just smirked, right? Lance smiled at seeing me ask nervously. I felt good that he smiled since he rarely does, but this time it was like he was teasing me. I felt kind of pissed. I was about to, s to stay that way when I remembered everything Lance told me yesterday. Everything because Lance, Lance felt so anxious. I wanted to talk about it again so he understands for sure when he's clear-headed. Don't say things the things you said yesterday. Like an idiot, if you remember what you said. And don't get caught in the rain and get sick. Just call me when something like that happens. It would have been fine if you had just called. If you call me, I'll run straight to you, so trust me more, Lance. Lance was silent. I was wondering if he was even listening when he leaned towards me. And he stroked my face. Oh, CG. I stiffened in surprise, but soon relaxed. They are missing so many opportunities for so many goddamn amazing CGs. I'm just saying, we could have had like a million. Oh, whoops.
His eyes were still deep and blue. Okay. But unlike the violent storm I saw yesterday, I saw a calm sea in his eyes. They were beautiful. I stared into his face while he stroked my cheek. I saw his face every day, but I can never get used to it. His eyes, like jewels holding the ocean, met mine. His hand that was stroking my cheek slowly moved towards my lips. His long and white fingers moved as if outlining my lips. Dude! We need a CG of him touching her face! I unconsciously backed off. What, what was that? My heart pounded. I looked at Lance, surprised. Ah, <laughs> you drooled. So not ladylike. Huh? I hastily checked my mouth. It felt clean. He's teasing me again. I glare at him. I'm joking. You spaced out again, so I just wanted to tease you. It's so like you to fall for that. Let's go out. I'm getting hungry. L Lance! I yelled at him as he turned around to head out. I could tell from his back. He went on smiling. Ah, oh, God. He scared me. So unlike him to joke around like that. The door suddenly opened again. Oh, right. Before I could even feel surprised, Lance continued talking. About the play. I think it could be a good experience for you. What? About the play? He must be talking about the play Red asked me to join. I thought Lance would naturally oppose, so I was surprised. What's gotten into him? He knows that we love him. We're like, I will never leave you just because I'm going to be in a play with Red Jesus. Crazy pants. If you're going to do it anyways, I'd rather you see you do your best. And I have to see what dress you're going to wear. Although I still do not approve of that boy playing your partner. Oh. He went out as soon as he finished talking. I still haven't said I'd do it. I said to the closed door, but he probably didn't hear it. I thought he'd say no. I'm surprised. But I felt kind of good. He didn't seem to feel inferior towards Red. I think slowly, Lance is turning more stable. Yay! Okay, well that's perfect. This is the perfect time to end. I mean, God, three pages. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have to like save over routes and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I am going to bird. Don't yell at me. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this part up here. Uh, we'll continue in the next part. So yeah, Lance's note. Ooh. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.